Today is the first day businesses like Michael's Bicycles are able to open to the public, but even as business resumes, it's certainly not business as usual. $3 for the package. Yeah. Michael Thomas is once again serving customers face to face, albeit at a distance, still wearing masks and still sanitizing countertops and bikes. As an essential business, his bike shop was all but closed for three weeks, only allowed to see customers at the store's back door to take in bikes for repairs. It's been difficult. I'll tell you, it's been very, very difficult doing all our biz out the back door of the bike shop. He's hoping the county's lift on certain restrictions will help bring in business. Meanwhile, golfers are back on the green. We've been we've been waiting for it, man. Been a while. But they can only be out golfing if they follow social distance orders. We are concerned, um, but we're staying at least six feet away, and um, we're not touching the pins. Uh, we're not driving golf carts. So we're we're doing our best to. Uh, keep it safe out here. Under the order, in-person car sales are also allowed to resume, and people 70 or older with pre-existing conditions and those 75 and up are still asked to stay home. The county is reporting 422 cases of COVID-19 with 13 deaths, far fewer than other counties in our area. That is why the county CEO, Mike Powers, says the health department is making these changes, but it's doing so cautiously, knowing it can still bring back tighter restrictions. We're going to watch the data, and if, you know, a week or two goes by and the, and the numbers start to go up, then we'll um, we'll have to tighten things up again. As we start another week of stay-at-home orders, the county urges caution. So does the state. Governor Gavin Newsom this weekend saying we are not anywhere close to being back to normal. Reporting in Newberry Park, Rick Montanez, NBC4 News.